this episode of Best Chance Outdoors, we're going out of Saga Talk with Captain Dave and Captain Matt to get in some spring fishing. These last couple of years, the spring run for kings has been absolutely phenomenal. The kings are big, they're strong, and there's a lot of them. And in my opinion, I think it's been better than the fall run. <laughs> Charter fishing 2020. Charter fishing 2020. We don't have to worry about the water. I always ask every morning, all you guys, nobody's not supposed to be here, right? Everybody knows, your wives and your family and everybody knows you're here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because we're filming you today, you, you might be on TV at some point. Oh, oh all right. bait was from top to bottom of the hummingbird, so we decided to cover the entire water column. We had mono dodgers in three colors, with little red dodgers for coho. We had two, three, 450 coppers, as well as wire divers, pulling spin doctors for kings and lake trout, and we had our cannon optimum out downs, close to bottom, pulling paddles, excluding the chute. We had that with spoons, as well as a free slider. Best chance outdoors. Once we got all the rods set, we just went to work because it was game on and the fish wanted to play. Did you see that old bandolier bounce on that gun like a cat? Did you see him? Woo! Alright, that's the biggest one, Don.
still been on you for about a half hour. <laughs> Wider. You ready for him, buddy? I am. Let's get him. Do it. Dad and I always love it when Uncle Bob calls because he ran my boat for over 20 years and he always wants to know how it's going. And we're just happy to tell him. Now, here's a couple tips on fishing from Captain Dave. You see, we just took the center rod, moved it over here. You can never have too many rod holders on a downrigger. We're just clearing that so we got all this space. We've been catching these fish, which you've seen all day, three or four at a time. So you, you need to get to clear that rod out of there so you can catch them. So you always want multiple rod holders. Remember that. They win you a tournament sometime. All our information reading out right here in the rigger. I don't have to fight through the customers, get up there to see where it's at. I can adjust it wherever I want. Down temp, surface temp, how far down it's running. Is that beautiful or what? Love these new riggers. Love them. Reason we're doing this, this is a three color. And the one next to it's a 200 copper. So to get this real light rod around that, you have to hold this line down in the water. One behind you, Dad. Look at that. Now that's cat-like reflex. As you can see, it is absolutely game on with the fish there. We can't hardly get any tips in without the fish hitting. One last tip I got for you. If you've got a fish close to the back of the boat and you see him going for another line, you throw the net on the deck and move that rod out of the way because you do not want that fish to get tangled in your lines and lose them and then leave you with a tangled mess. Now, back to the show. What with, you know, if you caught, if you ran off the closer ones, not the farther ones away, you wouldn't have to work so hard. I know that. <laughs> Don, pull up. Keep pulling. There you go. You let off when he dips. Stay right, stand here. Don't move. Don't move. No matter what, don't move. Don't keep reeling. Don't move. Just keep reeling.
dad absolutely smacked him after wrapping up and throwing a few stragglers back throw him back throw him back he's got to go <laughs> you might make the bloopers there we go throw him Get back luck. Throw. His the, lucky. One, the one that came in and got away that's his lucky day it's time for us to head in and get these things cleaned up One last tip I got for you is how we fillet our fish. Our knife of choice is the Rapala 9 inch, and Grandpa was a commercial fisherman, and this is how he taught us. You watch, Captain Dave makes a slit just behind the pectoral fin, behind the gill and then runs his blade halfway down the fish, halfway through the fish, and then after it gets past his rib cage, he pushes it all the way through, picks the meat up, and then fillets along the rib cage. That way we get as much meat as possible, and I think that's very important. That's our show folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Springtime is a great time to get out there. I promise, if you can make it the fifth, you will not be disappointed. The fishing is phenomenal. Kings are running through, you've got lake trout stacked up as thick as they ever get, and you've got coho there too, and you can catch them with the little red dodgers and peanut flies. And it's no secret that's the best way, but Captain Dave and I might have found a new way while we were up in Alaska, but that's for another episode. Until then, we'll see you next time here at Best Chance Outdoors.